So yeah, Cole, you know, I, one thing I wanted to ask you about is it really seems like goal scoring has taken off a little bit more. I mean, you've got a few more goals than you did last year, had one tonight. I mean, has that been a, a focus of yours? And maybe what, how, how have you kind of been able to, to up those totals? Yeah, I feel like last year it was, it was all about development for me. And uh, I feel like points just came my way. And uh, I feel like I've, I've had to create a little bit more offense on my own this year. And I feel like just goal scoring comes with it. And, you know, I, I think one of the things that uh, Nick Ford has told us about you, know, about you is, is that competitive nature. I know that seems to run in the family, but, you know, where, where does that come from for you and, and kind of how did you develop that trait in your game? Yeah, I feel like just growing up with, with three other brothers and uh, we all wanted to be, wanted to be, be the best out of, out of all of them. And uh, I feel like, yeah, the competitiveness between uh, my brothers and I was uh, definitely a lead at a young age. And then, you know, I, we're, we're talking the day after the, the bean pot. I mean, did you watch the game? And, and you know, what, what have you uh, kind of seen from, from your future teammates uh, in BU? Yeah, I did. I, I stayed up and watched the whole game. I was pretty fired up for the ending. And, uh, yeah, I thought they played a good game. I, I thought Macklin had a, had a pretty good game. Quinn and Lane both played well. And, yeah, I was pretty fired up. And, you know, you, you'll have an opportunity to continue with some of your teammates, obviously Cole Eiserman being one of them. Um, you know, he's, he's a guy who changes commitment. And how did you feel as a teammate knowing that you guys were going to be together at college as well? Yeah, I was super fired up. I think uh, you can't get enough time with that kid. And uh, I feel like just, just four more years with him, it kind of explains itself. Yeah, and as a defenseman that has to go up against him in practice every, every day, you know, how, how is, what, what makes him a challenging player to play against? I think obviously a shot. I feel like he, he's always ready to shoot, shoot and he's not afraid to let it off his stick. And yeah, it's definitely, it's a pretty scary shot. And then, you know, who, who's, you know, everybody obviously will draw the comparisons to Lane, but who's the player that you watched the most growing up that you've been trying to model your game after? Yeah, I think I've been trying to emulate my game after Adam Fox. I think the way he's able to create space for himself and, and uh, use, use the, the, the pressure to create space for his teammates is, is pretty special. Well, you know, Adam Fox is a really good comparison, but also a guy that you surpassed last year with your point total. I mean, you know, when you look at your accomplishments from last year and now coming into this year um, with, with the, the amount that you've been able to produce, I mean, seeing all those different names on that list and your name being at the top of it, I mean, what's that like for you knowing the history of this program? Yeah, I think it, it's pretty special to have my name up there with the, all those good defensemen, but I feel like I, I really haven't proved anything yet. Uh, it's just the USHL. Uh, it's not pro yet, so I still got to prove myself. And I guess you know what's as as the season progresses. What's maybe one of the things that you're really focusing on and on, on closing out the year strong? Yeah, I think just maturing my game a little bit. I think uh, not letting plays slip by me and uh, being 100% all the time.